Hello dear students, uh, welcome to Solid State Physics. Uh, this is a new course that we will start from today. Uh, this is lecture number zero. I am Dr. Prabhupada Ahmed. Uh, in this lectures, uh, we will start the discussions uh, with the aim of Solid State Physics. Uh, then we are going to answer the questions uh, that is what is Solid State Physics. Uh, then we will have discussions on the content uh, that we will cover during this course. And of course, we will talk about uh, the reference material that is uh, the books that we will follow during uh, this course. So let us move toward the first section that is uh, the aim of solid state uh, physics. So what is the aim of solid state physics? Uh, so you know that solid state physics basically explain the property of the solid material as found on the earth. I mean, this is basically the physics of the solid material. Uh, uh, from the solid material we mean all sort of the solid uh, that is being found on the earth and uh, you know that uh, when we are saying uh, it's, it's a physics of solid materials and uh, we were trying to explain uh, the properties of the solid material so you know that the properties uh, they are expected to follow uh, from the Schrodinger equations and according to Schrodinger equation you know that uh, we have a collections of the atomic nuclei and the electrons interacting with the electrostatic forces. So these atomic nuclei and the electrons interacting forces uh, with the help of elect electrostatic uh, interactions, uh, the properties of the solid material uh, I means uh, it, it, it changes. So what actually we, we are going to say, uh, I mean in this course uh, we will study about the fundamental laws uh, that govern the behavior of the solid uh, materials. I mean, uh, during this course, uh, we will study some of the uh, fundamental laws uh, that is basically responsible uh, for changing the properties of the solid uh, material. So now let us come toward the question uh, that what is mean by solid state physics. So solid state physics, uh, I mean, that is also known as condensed matter physics uh, is basically the study of the behavior of the atom when they are placed in close proximity uh, to uh, one another. I mean uh, we can say about uh, the solid state physics uh, that it is it's the, uh, the state of matters where the atom are very closely uh, placed to one another. In other words I mean we also call that uh, a condensed matter. Uh, physics. So, uh, uh, I mean, if you ask me uh, why you call it condensed matter physics, so condensed matter physics is a much better name. Uh, and why is that? Uh, because there are many concepts relevant to the solid, uh, I mean, uh, that, that they also apply to the liquid and gases. I mean, uh, some of the concept of the, uh, the solid state physics, I mean, when you, when you are saying that uh, it's, it's a branch of physics where the atoms are closely faked together. So some people also said about the liquid uh, or even in some cases about the, uh, the gases. So the, the better thing, uh, the much better definition would be if we say that it's a condensed matter physics. So condensed matter physics is much better name for uh, the solid state uh, physics. Uh, so what's the point uh, that uh, we are trying to find out? So in this course, we will trying to understand the electrical properties of the, uh, the solid. And why the electrical properties of the solid? Because you know that uh, the electrical properties it lies right and the heart of modern society and uh, technology. So uh, if you talk about the modern technology, so uh, you know the most popular of the modern technology uh, that we have is computer and electronic industry. So computer and electronic industry they basically uh, depend on the a particular uh, type of the material that we call uh, semiconductors uh, or we can say that it's a metal insulators uh, uh, type of the materials. So uh, this type of the material we uh, I mean we, we deal it in solid state physics. We explain the properties of these material. Uh, we explain that how to change uh, I mean how to design a particular type of uh, semiconductor material with respect to a particular uh, application whether, whether it's a computer's uh, technology or it is some sort of the other electronic uh, electronic material. 
so all the semiconductor materials uh, that we have uh, i mean we have the logic uh, for their fabrication and for uh, their modification and the uh, solid state uh, physics so solid state physics is not like uh, the other type of physics it is basically at the applied physics i mean whatever we say so we can also apply that so new technology for the future will inevitably involve uh, developing and understanding new class of the material and all those new class of the material that we will trying to develop for some new industry applications they will follow the uh, solid state uh, principle so by the end of this course uh, you will see why this is non travel task so uh, 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 l let me try again uh, that uh, solid state physics basically an applied uh, physics uh, where all the principles and the logic that we are study uh, will rightly uh, apply at the uh, i mean at their uh, respective position so uh, i mean this this sort of the physics is associated with the technology rather than the uh, interesting fundamental just like we have uh, other type of the physics uh, and here is a good example uh, you can see that uh, we have one type of the material that is uh, i mean a carbon so uh, here you can see that uh, we have three types of the of the carbon so here you can see the first one it's a metal the second one is insulator the third one is a our superconductor i mean here you can say it's, it's a graphite is a metal a diamond is an insulator and bulk minister furnace is a superconductor so uh, among our aim and the solid state physics uh, we will try to explain uh, that why one is metal and why one is an insulator i mean here you can see that uh, we, we have carbon different carbons uh, different allotropes of carbon but here you can see one is metal the other is insulators and the other one is a superconductor so one of the aim of solid state physics is uh, we will try that why uh, one is uh, i mean uh, one type of the carbon one allotrope of carbon is a metal and why the other is an insulator and we will also try to find out the physical origin of the mark feature I mean so here you can see that uh, I mean uh, in, 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 uh, in case of the metal so here you can see that uh, when we increase the temperatures uh, so uh, 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 the electrical resistivity uh, I mean is linearly changes with the applied temperature but in case of uh, insulators uh, here you can see that uh, the electrical properties are electrical resistivity as uh, I mean is changing exponentially uh, so uh, all these things that that we will explain here at the uh, solid state physics the content the main content that uh, we will cover i mean we are not going to uh, discuss all the content and detail these are basically the major content i mean uh, we have divided the course into five section in the first sections we will try to uh, understand the crystal structures uh, then we will move toward the x-ray crystallography then enter atomic forces then crystal dynamic and in the last sections uh, we will have a discussion on free electron theory so these are basically the five sections of our solid state uh, physics so we will discuss one by one uh, in detail during our course the book uh, which basically the core book or uh, you can say the reference book that we will follow uh, is being classified here so here you can see we have a different book the popular book uh, i mean uh, you all have them in your library so the first one that we will try is solid state physics by dr oak and h.u hall it's a second edition by valley a publisher the other book uh, i mean at the similar levels uh, uh, i mean among them is the most popular is solid state physics by carol uh, and solid state physics uh, blackmore i mean it's a cambridge editions and fundamental of solid state physics is a uh, chris man as also from the valley we have and if you want to study at more advanced level uh, so you can study uh, solid state physics, uh, Ashrop and uh, Merman. So these are the reference books uh, which you can follow for the detailed discussions of your our course are for uh, more learning uh, regarding your uh, course. So this is some sort of the uh, introduction about the solid state physics. So in the coming lectures, uh, we will start the basic discussions uh, on the solid state physics. So we will, we will start from the first section that is uh, uh, crystallography. So stay tuned for the first lecture uh, that will be on the crystallography in which we will discuss about uh, the solid material. So stay tuned for the first lecture. Till then, bye bye.